so I'm going to have to change classes. This comes with age. Oh. Buenos dias, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for coming in here. Yeah, buenos dias. Um, I would have never thought in a million years that me, an immigrant who moved to San Diego 15 years ago, was going to speak to you guys, such an amazing crowd. Thank you. Thank you, Creative Mornings. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you, Christina, Mike, Nate, and the rest of the team. Well, I'm here to talk about taboo. What is the meaning of taboo? Improper, unacceptable, proscribed by society? Well, I'm here to talk about someone. Her name is Rosa. Rosa Hernandez, la chacha, the cleaning lady, the maid. She's my alter ego. She came from Mexico. Documented or not, who cares, right? I mean, she's here. Who's going to kick her out? <laughs> Don't you dare. You know what I'm talking about. Well, Rosa represents a system of values, helpful, politeness, neatness, and willing to work for little money to have a better life for herself and for her children. Well, why does she wear that uniform, you will think, right? Well, it's a symbol of the neocolonialism. Her scapular, if you see it right there, it's a symbol of the Catholic, Catholic Catholicism embedded. Sorry, my English sometimes is choppy. Well, she does the job that no one likes to do. She cleans for a living. She doesn't speak English. As many other Latina immigrants, Rosa did not have many opportunities growing up. For instance, if you know, this is a, a little bit of information, Latinas represent less than 2% of doctoral recipients each year and rarely over 1% of university faculty members here in the US. So we're still behind, you know? Brown, we're still behind. She shows up in public spaces unannounced. She slips into the scenario. The background becomes the artwork. In this performance at Friendship Park, who has been there? Who has visited? Raise your hand. Don't miss the opportunity, experience, go there. Don't forget to bring your ID, because they're going to check you, just so you know. Well, five, in this performance, five border, border patrol officers asked her questions about what was she doing. Of course, she was sweeping, right? I mean, the conversation was in Spanish. They left her work, and as they were leaving, one of the officers told Rosa in Spanish, my mother has been cleaning houses in San Diego for many years, and now she has papers. Taboo. Rosa makes clear choices. She emerges with the notion of placing underprivileged Latinas in spaces where they usually go unnoticed. The goal is to blur the forms of art and life and questions notions of race. You tell me who's sitting and who's doing the job. Taboo. Through her presence, Rosa questions the art world too, the establishment, the challenging, the challenging opportunities, and pushing the envelope. Rosa showed up at San Diego Art Fair unannounced and cleaned up the, the boots of the gallery. <laughs> of course, who's going to pay, as an emerging artist, a lot of money? So she's questioning. In art events, and while everybody's socializing and having fun, what is she doing? cooking, cleaning, making salsa for hours. And she's having fun. She's smiling. She will never come to you unless you approach her. And she will always be serving and helpful. And of course, she has a business card. Just read a little bit. Can you? Is it this easy to read? Who read it? OK, well, it says ironing, cooking, silver, polishing, camino perros, cuido niños, and clean shit. <laughs> so she doesn't have a contact information. That's part of the performance. Um, so what is my role here? I'm, a, I'm her manager. Since Rosa doesn't speak English, and she doesn't have access to internet, and she used to have a cell phone, but she lost it, and I have to like make money or raise something to get her going again. So this is her form. It's hard to read, but I'm going to read it a little bit. So of course, she's offering services in English and in Spanish, cooking, cleaning, 
uh, mopping, ironing, and organizing the boss's shed, whatever, you know? So when you try to hire her, you do it through me. Well, she has been invited to many art venues, and sometimes she helps the, same, the artists. This artist, the one that we're seeing there with the jeans, um, she had a little, oh, he had a little accident. He was so high that he couldn't finish the performance. <laughs> Super high. <laughs> so, of course, Rosa offered her services right on the spot. And she cleaned all of the shed for two hours and a half. Boy, and no thank you. <laughs> Taboo. Rosa also was hired as part of the Exploring Engagement Program, supported by the James Irvin Foundation at Oceanside Museum of Art, where she swept the pier, the entire pier. Have you gone? Have you seen the pier, Oceanside? How big is it? It's big. OK. It took her three hours and 52 minutes to sweep it. But it was fun. <laughs> what are the interactions? In this photo, she had a conversation at the pier with Polly, a former policeman from Mexico, who confessed to Rosa that, her, that he'd rather work for uh, two jobs 24-7 than live in danger as a policeman in Mexico. Taboo. As part of the same program at Oceanside, of course, I wanted Rosa to go and clean part of Camp Pendleton. And after three months, phone calls, several emails, we got this letter that's difficult to read, but I will read it for you. It says the last paragraph. After carefully evaluating and legal reviewing your proposal, legal, regrettably, we are unable to support your request. So I didn't bring it here, but we put an ad offering services. I'm still working on that. One day, Rosa is going to clean Camp Pendleton. <laughs> You'll see. You know why? Well, just a question. This is a question. What does art do to a militarized city like San Diego? 27% of the US Navy are home based in San Diego. Taboo. Rosa, of course, likes to work hard. I find deep connections between two countries entwined with a common ground. The cleaning lady, as she exists in Latin America and here in the US, unprivileged women in both sides of the border. Taboo. Well, these are some of the performances that she has volunteered or get hired by different venues. You know, she's mopping the floor here at an opening. She's also here. Um, actually, I was showing some artwork, and she was sweeping. So taboo, you know? <laughs> Sometimes. When she has performed as a cleaning lady, she gets paid less money than a real cleaning lady. Taboo. Today, more than ever, oh, I forgot. Maybe you can't, I mean, if you can, I can describe it for you. Um, there was an interaction, many interactions happen when Rosa is cleaning or mopping, you know, she's pushing the envelope. And in this specific photograph, She's asking the lady kindly, el suelo está mojado, cuidado, se va a caer. Just be careful, the floor is wet. And the lady turned at her, very angry, and said, I don't speak Spanish, speak English. So those are the reactions that she is willing to hold in as an immigrant, taboo. Today, more than ever, we, we and I mean all of us, all of us, need to be united and take to the streets and make art. Art is for everybody. Art is critical thinking. Well, this is the most recent performance that Rosa participated. Rosa was another woman protesting for her rights at the Women's March. Who went? Who marched? Rosa was there, thank you. Rosa is trying very hard to make a living. Here's an infomercial. Maybe you're going to hear it. It's difficult to. Shall I just click? Are normal sponges just not working for you? <sighs> Tired of cleaning your boss's shit? And his shower? Well, we have a product for you the magic eraser. Clean sinks. Yeah. 
It cleans toilets. All right. And it cleans your shower. Por la patria mexicana, la... Rosa limpia, sí limpia. For two easy payments of $3.99, you can get the La Rosa Limpia Magic Eraser. Order now. Call 555. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs>